A college creative writing project fueled a local woman's passion to live out her dream of writing a children's book. Yeah, Armonica Adams sat down with the author and talks about why timing is everything. Right, timing is everything in life. As school gets underway, it's really powerful to realize how the creativity of one project lesson can forever alter someone's life. Let me introduce you to St. Louis and Talana Mushlin. She had an idea her college professor would design a lesson that would one day make her an author. An amazing professor that, that I had at the time, and he had a lot of pictures laid out on a big table and said pick a picture and create a short story from it. That short story is now the first chapter of a new children's book called Leo and the Harp. Talana recalls her professor telling her to publish it, but the timing wasn't right. I feel like the diversity in the characters that I have in the book, I thought about that and it was part of the book years ago before it was something that was so mainstream that it is today. When she found it in an old drawer a decade later, her husband was the inspiration to get it published. He goes, you've been holding out on me? Are you going to do something with this? The book follows 13-year-old Leo through adventures and folklore to find himself and his true calling. On his adventure, he discovers what I call heroes. Um, heroes that are based on virtues like love, wisdom, laughter, imagination, forgiveness. Those are the main virtues. So the parents hopefully can enjoy reading it to their kid and have helped their child learn these lessons and they can be a part of it for them. But in turn, they may need to relearn it. <laughs> Well, she pulled inspiration from movies like Wizard of Oz, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And she's, by the way, already working on a second book. Oh. And she's hoping a movie's right around the corner. There's kind mm. of uh, some talk mm. about that. Oh, Leo and the Harp, if you want to find it, is available at all bookstores and on Amazon. She's so creative. I mean, you don't think of all those lessons we got when we were in school. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden she pulls it back out. It was sitting on a table and her husband's like, this is a good what story. Is this? Why yeah, not? What, what the heck? Why what not? are you doing with this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm so yeah. proud of her. Well, you know, last That's week awesome. we talked about the teacher at Pattonville uh, Elementary yeah. Schools and about how they inspire the students and this, that, and the uh -huh. other. And then you see it really does pay off. Right. It happens right. quite a bit. Great mm -hmm. story. Kids, you never know. <laughs>